Hey, what's up, you guys? So, today, I wanted to tell you a story. And, and it's, a it's a pretty interesting one, actually. So, um, let's get started. So, this is my current chin. Um, her name is Ellie. Um, I have a little bit of a cray-cray story. I wanted to tell you guys today, but I thought I would tell it while she was having her playtime. So, um, yes, Ellie, this is where you're going to have playtime. Yes, Ellie, yes. So, <clears throat> um, this story is not mostly about Ellie, believe it or not. This story is mainly about my other chin, Ash. Now, Ash, um, I didn't have for very long Ash... Um, I bought Ash from PetSmart, and he was really sweet. I, I mean, but he was really calm when we bought him. You know, we just bought him, like a normal chin, like we would buy. Um, and he seemed okay. He was kind of calm, but, you know, he seemed normal. Um, and, you know, he seemed normal, so, you know, we didn't think think much about it. But, um, the next day, which would be, um, the day before yesterday, uh, he started to act a little bit weird. Not like, he, I mean, he's, he kind of looked like, at first he just kind of looked like he might have something, you know, he thought maybe he was choking on something, or, you know, he might have just have been tired. We didn't know for sure. But we didn't know he looked kind of weird, so we called PetSmart and we asked. We were like, hey, so we got this chin from you um, yesterday. Well, yeah, yesterday. And he's acting kind of funny. Um, do you think you might have a reason why, or do we need to bring him in, or what's um, what do we need to do? And they're like, oh, that's not, and we told him them that what he was doing um basically he wasn't drinking he was making this weird hiccuping thing with his body and um yeah so we called them they're like this one is not normal you need to bring him in we brought him in they were when we got there on the phone they told us that they would have him looked over by a vet when we got there they basically just told us no, I'm sorry, our vets don't take small animals. And they were um, kind of taking care of an angry customer. Um, and I understand that. But um, they definitely could have... Hey, no. No eating detergent. That's not okay. Give me that. Um, they basically... They could have told us beforehand, Hey, no, that that's not right. Um... We can't take that. You can eat the wood on that. I don't care. No. Come here. Come here. Ellie. Ellie. Whatever she can put back there if she wants to, but I don't think that's, really your, that's like her sacred place or something. Um, but yeah, so... One sec. So yeah, they said that they couldn't, they couldn't take her. So at this point, we're just like, okay, well, where can we take him? That it was a guy. I don't know why I'm saying her. Uh, where can we take him that will take care of him? And they're like, well, you can take him to this animal hospital. You know, they'll take care of him there. And we're just like, yeah, okay, great. So. We take him to this animal hospital, and, you know, they're just kind of like, yeah, okay, um, and you came from PetSmart, um, okay, and you got it yesterday, okay, and then what's wrong with it? And we told them, and they're like, okay, well, we want to take it back and test it. It's gluco, you know, and they basically gave it the works. And they come back, and they say, I'm sorry, he probably won't make it till morning. And at this time, we've had this chin for a day. Like, literally not even 24 hours. And so it obviously couldn't have been our fault that he got sick. 
he he already had been acting weird like before we even got him. So like, hey, don't chew, don't chew on that, Ellie. Ellie, I see you. Stop. Ellie, no, no, no. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna go get her wood chew toy because she's just chewing on everything. Um, so basically they're like, yeah, sorry, we can't really help you with that. And they come, that's what Petsway was like, I keep getting, Petsmart, ugh. And we're like, okay, okay, thanks. Um, so after the vet place, we take him back to PetSmart because they're like, okay, well, we can refund you and we can watch him um, over the course of the night. And if he lives, then you can, we'll call you. And if he doesn't, then we'll call you. So we're like, all right. So then the next day they call us and they're like, I'm sorry, he didn't make it through the night. And we were like, um, okay, yeah, that's fine, okay. Um, and we're kind of still mad because they shouldn't have sold us this chin um, because it was sick. But then again, the girl said, it had all of our animals go into three-day quarantine. He obviously looked fine during the quarantine or we wouldn't have sold it to him. And then later that day, we get a call from corporate like the head head of Pet Smart, and they're like, "Oh well, we're sorry that happened," and blah 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 blah. This this that that. But after all that, they're like, "Okay, well, basically, um, as you are aware of, the chinchilla hadn't been in quarantine," and we were just like, "What? It it what?" Like, oh, yeah, the chinchilla hadn't been in quarantine. Did they not tell you that? Yeah, because it hadn't been a three-day, a three-day, because um, it was Christmas time. They just went ahead and threw them, him out on the floor instead of giving him a proper three-day quarantine like they actually should have done. Um, and they didn't tell us that, and they were supposed to tell us. Um, and besides just that, he also... Um, wasn't even old enough to be sold. He was two weeks old. Or no, that's not right. He was um. Well, he was he was really a baby. They weren't like the they weren't telling us like the right age, because he was like young, young. He wasn't. He definitely wasn't five months old. So he really shouldn't have been sold anyway. And they said he died from anxiety from getting just thrown out on the floor. And you know that you know that doesn't. I don't know what you guys are thinking, but that doesn't really sound fair to me. That um, we had to go through that because um, they sold us a bad animal. So um, basically, they're like, "We'll pay your vet bill." Blah blah blah. We're like, oh, "Great, okay, thank you. Yes, you will pay my vet bill." I'm like baby. And we were like, "Um, well, okay." So basically, that happens, and then. We, I wonder how much she's pooping back there. I already see one. And then we were like, uh, oh, great. How am I going to pick that up? We're like, okay. Um, great. All right. Thanks. Um, so then we get a refund. We're kind of still mad about that because, you know, that shouldn't have happened. And then we go, yesterday, we went to Pet's Way. And we were looking at their chin chinchillas. And they had uh, this one and then another standard. And we, you know, we thought about it. I almost got an Amazon parrot. Didn't get that. And then we ended up getting um, this one. So the reason we got this one is because the other one didn't really care about us. And when we stuck our fingers through the cage, th um, this one would come up to us and would let us pet her and stuff. So we got her. And she had been in the cage with all males. And they just assumed she was a male, too, because they had got a shipment of males in, you know, not females. So they're like, oh, well, she's a, they're both males, I'm assuming. And they flip the first one over, and it, yeah, it's a male. 
And then, when we were about to buy her, they flip her over. And it's a female that has been in there with six males. Great. So, they can't be 100% positive that she's not pregnant. They're pretty sure she's not, but they can't be positive. Great. Well, uh, thanks for listening. Bye.